Okay, so this is kind of a part two to my uh, walk-in freezer evaporator with too many defrosts. So uh, I highly suggest, I'm po I'll pop up a card right now that I highly suggest you guys go watch that video first, okay? Then you, this will kind of have a little more context to it, okay? So um, I'm going to be going over the key to therm Wi-Fi uh, service tool, okay? I'll go ahead and get into the video now, and then I'll catch you guys in the recap. So we're going to see how this thing works. It's a Wi-Fi service tool. It's going to give me wireless access via my smartphone or my tablet and I don't have to plug the ethernet cable in to the key to thumb controller anymore, supposedly. So we're gonna try it out. So at this point, I plug the Wi-Fi service tool into the ethernet port of the controller and simply just enter the IP address of the controller. And here we go, we have a full display allowing us to see everything we need to see. So here we are inside the tablet. I've got a screen recorder going so you can actually see. And look, we've got live real-time displays of our superheat, of our suction pressure, of all the, this is your dashboard, and then now we're going to navigate through and we can look at, you know, a, a graph showing the defrost, and if you notice, this one has smart defrost turned on, so we weren't doing, you know, we're not doing four defrosts a day. Basically, the controller is paying attention to all of that. You know, it, it just shows you the abilities, and here we go back at our normal display, and you could just see the, what, you know, how much information you can do just from your smartphone. Here we are, we can go in and change the parameters of the entire control, all again, wireless from our smartphone. So this just shows the capabilities of the Ketotherm evaporator efficiency controller when paired with the Wi-Fi service tool. I think it's a great, great feature that they have. And like I said, I'm currently trying to sell this system to a customer that I, I think is a perfect candidate for it. All right, so this was just a recap. Like I said, if you guys hadn't watched that first video, uh, walk-in freezer evaporator with too many defrosts, I highly suggest you guys do that. It'll kind of bring some more context, okay? This was, uh, that particular video was my first intro to the Kita Therm evap efficiency controllers. Uh, I showed my frustration, and I still have a little bit of frustration about the uh, digital display that scrolls and being able to adjust that from that display, it's kind of frustrating, but in doing some research, I was really opened uh, or I, I should say I opened my eyes and was, was very satisfied with the ability to be able to access the controller via the computer, which was fairly easy, but then even easier to be able to access it via my smartphone. Okay. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. I highly suggest you guys consider subscribing to some of these other channels that are popping up right now. And, uh, I will uh, see you guys on the next one. Okay.